Hello, it's Taxman, and today I'm going to be recording from my car because I want to I want to say some things and I want to be a, more vocal and louder, and I can't really afford to do that when I'm back home and I have to worry about my mother and my brother li potentially listening. In. The last thing I would want is to be talking and then have somebody walk in and embarrass me or or see what I'm doing. I can't have that, okay? So um, anyways, uh. First off, say, wow, what a bad way to get started. Having to deal with, with being accused of being a, uh, an alcoholic by, or, uh, or a layabout by my mother. Well, just because, just because I, I, I like to drink, just because I drink maybe three or four, sometimes five nights a week doesn't make me an alcoholic. It certainly doesn't make me a deadbeat either. Maybe, to their credit, I do have a bit of a, a dead-end job at the, at the liquor store, but that's just because... That's not for want of trying or want of ability. It's because people played out are, 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 are keeping me down. They don't fail to recognize my overwhelming genius when it comes to these. How good I am at, at wine tasting. How good I am with, with craft beer and, and whiskey and everything else. And people love talking to me at work. They love to ask they love to ask for my opinions. Well, at least those people who care to hear about things, most of these people just have their crap taste and they make their own goddamn decisions anyway, so I don't even bother trying to help those stupid little cunts. But they they know how good I am, and I've been told many times over the past three years how good I am. My co-workers realize how good I am, but the people up top, they deliberately keep me down so I don't ever make it anywhere, and thus it makes it look like I have a dead-end job. And what am I supposed to do, just quit and go to work at another liquor store where it's going to be the exact same thing? I, it's not like I, I or, or what, try to find a job at a brewery or something? Well, you can't do that. Just like every place else, the only thing that they have are part-time positions, not that you can get in unless you know people. And I don't know people, or the people who, who who I do see at work and who do uh, talk to me, it's not like they can help me uh, hook, hook me up with any questions. All the same damn thing. Same, 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 same thing. Well, you think you're so good at this. You're so clever. You're so such a good person. You're such a nice person to talk to. Well, psh, like that ever does anything. But I am not an alcoholic, and I am not a oh, deadbeat. Back in back in Equestria, where my uh, where my doppelganger tax pony lives, I am I am more than appreciated for for what I do. I am quite famous back there in my own little way. I people from all uh, ponies from all over Equestria will come to my little wine shop in out of the way Ponyville to 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 buy my rare and my rare and exclusive wines. And I am I am I. That is, and when I do go to Equestria, I will take, I will be there, I will assume that life that is rightfully mine, and I will get my recognition, I will get my res the respect that is owed to me, and I will be have my success, my happiness in life. That is where I'm going. Uh, and, and, okay, so, um, but, I, I've, said, I've said about that enough, and I'll explain it better when I'm in a calmer mood. Well, second thing... Some nitwit call himself Pony Tonight. Like, uh, is is that is that kind of like a reference to Mac Tonight or something? AKA Moon Man, the world's most infamous member of the KKK. But never, never, no, nonetheless, uh, some nitwit calling himself uh, Pony Tonight decides to show up randomly on one of these videos I made three months ago and and start making demands and saying, "I'll oh, kill yourself" and other things like that. Well, who the hell do you think you are to come here and start start bossing me around in, in my own videos? But you don't have that right to do that, and I could talk about whatever the goddamn hell I please. So, so congratulations if your if your goal was to get yourself a shout out, then you got it. And I might as well just go on and address all the other people who are who who seem to be following me or whatnot. One, my goal is not crazy. It is not crazy. It is real. There's actual scientific methods that we're going to use to, 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 to potentially open up a real portal to Equestria. And not discounting that, we're also going to use magic and studies and um, esoteric, esoteric um, principles to, uh, to, 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 to get over there, at least even, even if it's just an astral form. An astral form, that's still, that's still one big step over there. We'll, we'll get there astrally, and you assume your own body, leave behind uh, the, the, the meat casket that we have in this world, and go and assume a new one when we get over there. Uh, another thing, too, is it's, it is not wrong at all to be sexually attracted to ponies. 
mind you, there's a big difference between ponies from My Little Pony or an Equestria and what animals, smelly animals we have here on Earth. Those creatures are intelligent, sapient, talking, and more than capable of giving consent. I had consent with Rarity when I was in her relationship, and I had cons and I have consent with Curio and the relationship I have with him. It is if we live in if we live in a world where now parent now gays get married in all fifty states. So um, if if you can have relationships with the same gender, then you, you could sure as heck have a relationship with a with a consenting talking pony that's pretty much just like an alien, so yeah, and I can get away with making that analogy before you people start rolling your eyes, because I'm gay too. I just happen to be attracted to different species. There's literally nothing wrong with being attracted to ponies, just like there's literally nothing wrong with being a furry, and being attracted to, to furries are the same way that some of you, you anime geeks are attracted to, to cat girls and Nikos, and, and video people and gamers like, like a... Are, there's so many gamers who, who, who have their uh, attractions to, say, the Asari or whatever those stupid things are called from a mass effect. Um, what else? Oh, uh, uh, I uh, should mention, one other person, maybe, I don't know if you watched this or not, but, yeah, to, to, the, uh, to the young French nationalist who I was talking to for a while, um, he, things did seem to go pretty well at first, but then... I didn't like that reaction that you had when I started telling you about my plans to get to Equestria. And I will tell you right now that, yes, I, I speak as a na I'm a nationalist myself, but at least I'm a realist. I know that there's absolutely nothing that can be done to save Europe, nothing that can be done to save America, nothing that can be done to save the Western world. Your, uh, France is just as doomed as everybody else. You they sign your goddamn death warrant once you join the freaking EU, and now you're, you're too... Your nation's too cuckolded to, to ever to ever do anything. There'll never be another Napoleon, and not like he has any legitimate heirs anyways. The, the, not a, you won't even have yourself a, a leader like de Gaulle, who apparently you seem to idolize quite a bit. So, and what, well, I mean, and what are you going to do about it anyways when you're, you're sitting around fapping to furry porn and, and, and moaning about how degenerate it makes you feel, well, if that's really what you, if that's really what you feel, then either you go all the way, or you, you don't, not that, not that you can't, you can't have your, 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 your little perversions, and, and be supporting the cause, but you, you should, if, if you're intelligent, you would realize that what I'm trying to do now is the only way to go, because we have, there is no saving in this world, we're all, it's all screwed, it's going to burn, the only chance to have happiness and have success is to leave. That's why we're going to go to Equestria. To leave it all behind. Leave all the hate, all the misery, all the, all the, all the depression and sadness behind, and start a new, a new life, a new place. People just have to see it. See it. What I'm doing. What I'm doing now is is for the better of betterment of both myself and for the better and for the the advancement of of us as a whole not everybody's going to come not everybody's going to believe that yeah i recognize that but those of us who do who do believe and who do make our choices we are going to be the chosen ones and we're going to be the ones that go over to Equestria and have ourselves a better life so the choice is between with everybody who's watching these and everyone who's sharing this thing around are you going to just sit around and laugh and say oh that tax man guy clearly he's just a loony who, he's just a loony. Are you going to realize the the truth of what my words are and, and support me, support me, and support our cause? Because we're going to be doing great things, great, great, great things. And you do not want to be left out of this. If you have, you do not want to be left out of this. Uh, one more thing before I go. Way to go, horse news, and, and completely omit the uh, the contribution is that those of us on Pwn back at 8chan did to help trigger that one Tumblrina SJW artist into to, to quitting the fandom. Yeah, like, psh, we're the ones who've been s sitting around doing half those edits anyways and and uploading them to Derpy Burrow and Tumblr. Psh, yeah, but, of course, just like everything else, Four Cucks has to go and steal our thunder and steal our credit. But well, whatever. You guys can enjoy taking big black cock up your ass by your, your SJW moderators and and Reddit tier user base, 
we'll just sit back and enjoy our uh, 8chan with our, where we actually have moderators who, who care about the principles of free speech. Uh, speaking of which, long live Hot Wheels. Hile Hot Wheels. Maybe uh, I'll do something special for for him coming up with a uh, with the the uh, the anniversary of Gamergate. Maybe uh, if somebody hasn't already done it, I have an, a great idea to rewrite the lyrics for the Horse Vessel lead in honor of Hot Wheels and in honor of Eight Chan. So long live Eight Chan, the one true bastion of free speech. Hell. And that is it for now. That is it for now. This is ends the message of the day for for what is today? Yeah, Friday the seventeenth of July, twenty fifteen. Now I'm up to I am up soon to go out and have myself some excellent excellent gourmet pizza and craft beer down at the pub. See you guys later. Bye.